Hello and welcome back to part 2 of how to build the KBBL station. So we're just going to put on our mast and as you can see I'm counting out 5 and I've already placed the block there and I'm going to place 3 above the actual step of the border. So 4 including the one that's already there and there's going to be 6 as a gap on this side. So we're going to build up 3 there. We run straight across exactly the same. 6 running across and going three high above the steps and then five on the other side then you should have a square of 16 so a gap of 16 in between everyone just making sure that it is 20 wide and now basically what we're going to do is every time we're going to build up by another three a three on top of our base one. So we're going to build one out and then one on the inside of that one and build up three above. So we're going to have four every time going up and then we're going to build a frame off the bottom block all the way around. Which we'll add some more detail to it afterwards and obviously you don't want to do the same as what I've just done there. It's actually stepping inwards. I only realise when I do that. <laughs> and basically guys, as long as you don't do what I just done there, easily done. <laughs> you uh, really just want to keep stepping in every time, taking it up another four levels uh, once you're on the inside. So you place your one block and so on and so on all the way up so here we've got our first block and then we place another three and then on the inside that three we start making our way inwards again continually closing the gap of the square so one two three on top of our fourth and build one place it on the inside knock it away place three on top and we're just going to carry on doing this until we get up to the top of the mast. And as you can see I got a little bit confused there, started building across the top, that does happen every now and then as long as you put it right it's fine. Or you can just build on the top rather than the bottoms as long as you're going to carry on the pattern throughout the mast. Realistically you could do it in a way that you do say like 4 or 5 high and then go down to 4 high and then 3 high and so on but it would have been a lot harder to work out for myself um, to then fit on the sign as well um, I was going to have um, the sign sort of gradually getting smaller as well but, um, that was taking up quite a bit of time and before you know it you've got massive letters at the bottom and it, it just doesn't look in context in my mind it didn't so in the end I ended up making them all the same size and just laying them and uh, layering them inwards as I went up. Like I say, very simple build. Um, if anything, it's more tedious work. Uh, it's not actually a hard build to put together. Um, Realistically, the only thing we could have improved on really is by making the building completely square so that the mast could have been squared to the whole building frame. Um, at the same time, it would have been unnecessarily a lot bigger when the KBL station is actually a very small building.
Sorry about that freeze frame there guys, um, it was just me carrying on doing the same thing, I don't know why it's froze, um, I can't really edit it out without transitioning, so I'm going to leave it there, I know, I know it's a bit of a pain, um, seem to be having more and more problems lately trying to get my videos done. Hopefully just an issue until we get an update. <laughs> Uh, if not, it just means my life is gonna made gonna be made a little bit harder until I get hold of a good game capture card. So, guys, as you can see, we're we're starting to close in the gap now, getting very close to the top, and eventually you end up with a square of four. The problem with structures like this, I mean, you can do it at three block tiers, so you use steps on every level you're going up. Uh, the problem with that is that the structure ends up very big, and sometimes the free tier doesn't always work out the way you're expecting it to, because obviously the free tier can't carry on, um, because when you get to the top, you can't use your free steps, so they don't start angling in anymore. So as you can see, we've, we've got to our last layer now, so we're going to place in our four blocks straight in the middle. And then we're going to build it up another two levels, uh, just one level. And we're just going to place a uh, stone stair all the way around, just to give it a tip. Like so. And that is our mast complete, apart from I need to put one line in down there. So here we go guys, we're just going to put in our sign, so we're going to leave a gap of 5 in between this side and we're going to place a row of 6 white wool and it should leave a gap of 5 and we're just going to place 4 red on top of the white um, actually, sorry, we're going to do a second row of all white and then build our letter 5 high on top of that so you will add an extra row, um, I will rectify it mine in a second so just like so and then we're going to come in uh, a space of two and we're going to start building our sign further up so like I say I'm just going to put mine right a minute um, take away my bottom layer put white in and move the bottom of the L up Like I say, you want these letters 5 high. And now we're going to need to run it up one level. And we're going to step in them two spaces. Like I say, we're going to use the, the middle four. Place our pipes on the outside. And still making sure our letters are 5 in length. Uh, height, sorry. And then making sure we go all the way around with our white wall. So now we're going to step in another two. First row white and then using our four middle spaces for the beginning of our B.
now moving on to our very last one stepping in two again so we should now just be able to place it straight on top of this mast and then the middle four using for our final letter the K And there you have it guys, that is our sign complete. And now we're just going to add some little details uh, to the mast. Just really putting some angles in between where we've just got straight lines. Um, I mean, you don't have to do this, this is just me trying to make it look a bit nicer. Um, basically you need to leave a gap of three on the bottom. And obviously when you move further up, only a gap of two is needed. Now if, if you're in survivor mode, um, probably not the best thing to do because you're going to have to knock away a lot of blocks rather than just actually use them. So I'm, I'm just going to do this all the way around. Uh, I, w I won't do all of it on video, I'll just go so far up. Um, but basically I'm going to do this all the way around uh, for every level. And as you go further up, you only need a space of two. And it's only a space of two then as you place your first block uh, all the way up then because it's obviously all the same height. And I'm just going to do this all the way around just to give it more of a mast, mast feeling, or at least that's what I thought personally. Anyway, guys, I'll leave you with the rest of the footage just showing you uh, how I put in these parts. Um, only really, the only other thing I do now is uh, put a door in, or a couple of doors, and then just finish off with a couple of glass panes, or glass blocks, and a couple more brown wool. But apart from that guys, that is the end. Uh, hope you enjoyed the build. Uh, let me know if you want to see anything in particular actually built. Um, got to try and remember to get on the inside of this building and try and finish off Krusty Burger and a couple of others uh, before trying to move on to another build unless a building just pops into my head and I start building early on <laughs> so anyway guys thanks for watching I shall see you soon uh, hope you enjoyed